deep water and water predators is sort of a... Uh, sort of a difficult thing for me. So the first jump is always the most difficult. Um, we're just not going to overthink it, though. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome to Subnautica, brought to us by Unknown Worlds Entertainment. Subnautica just recently went into its full release version, and of course, that is a great time to come back to the game. Now, Subnautica is an open-world survival game with a storyline. Now, it has a storyline and a way to finish the game, which is kind of exciting. You don't normally see those with these types of games. But it takes place on this alien planet completely underwater, if you have no idea what the game is about. I have played a series of this game before, two series, I believe, back when my channel first started, probably a year ago. And I knew that I would come back to this game, so now in final, in full version, it seems like the perfect time to do it. Now, I've gone through great lengths to avoid spoiling as much of the game as possible. As you know, I enjoy playing games where I'm discovering stuff. However, I, I do know the bulk of the story. There are some things I couldn't help but avoid. So we're going to start a new game. I deleted all my old previous games. And I've given some thought as to what to play. So of course we're not going to play Creatum, Creative, and I'm not going to play Freedom. I kind of combined those two, Creatum. Uh, we're not going to play either one of those two, so then the decision became between Survival and Hardcore. Now, I generally like Hardcore games on occasion, depending on the game. However, it was my experience, one, that O2 Alerts really saved my rear a lot of times. And even if I kind of got out of the habit of that, I would hate to lose the game due to uh, a, a glitch or a malfunction where you have precious seconds you know often often your suffocation is within seconds and I would I would hate for that to happen so I think just to keep the series going to know that we'll be able to finish it without having to start it over and over again we're going to play survival crash land on a dangerous alien planet scavenge resources and manage hunger thirst to survive that's right about where we want to go now that being said we're still absolutely going to try to avoid dying to the best of our ability and I'm gonna cut to the end of the loading screen okay let's be off abandon ship I don't remember this launch in three two one Got our escape pod off. But. Ooh. But then there's that. As we get enveloped in the blast. Oh, that fire extinguisher! Watch your head. And that is about as I remember it. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yep fire and let me let me out the thing it let me out hmm, that could have been bad all right we need the fire extinguisher and we need to put out the fire quickly there we go okay so our life pot is in rough shape oh okay our tablet still works I like the logo. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered a optimal outcome. This PDA <laughs> has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Excellent. Okay. Tab does the three, four, five corresponding quick slot. Right. Okay. I do remember a little bit. It's been a while since I played this game, right? That was our, our log. The databank has survival. Uh, start here. If you're reading this, you've survived the emergency evacuation of a capital-class ship equipped with Altera technology. Congratulations, the hard part is over, oh, if you say so. Your PDA is automatically rebooted in emergency mode. This operating system has one directive, keep you alive on a hostile alien world. If that is not possible, it will alert salvage teams to the location of your remains. 
full monitoring of vital signs for timely survival advice, which is why I believe the oxygen warnings should be present. Blueprints for fabricating a range of essential survival equipment tailored to your environment, onboard camera, microphone, and OCR technology for short-range situational analysis, cross-compatibility with all Altera-compliant products. MB, your personal and work files have been encrypted and may be retrieved at a later date by a licensed engineer. Let's hit the survival checklist. Administer first aid if required. And, oops, wrong button. And it is required. So let's get ourselves a medical kit. There we go. I'm pretty sure that'll make another one, right? Right, okay. So we did that. Checklist step one. No, we have not administered the actual first aid yet. What we need is to go to my inventory, there it is, and use the first aid. Okay, 101. Uh, interesting. Okay, sure, I'll take it. First aid administered. Take inventory of available materials and supplies and decide on rations. I'm going to have to get out of hitting the escape button. Well, let's see. So we have two flares, two filtered water, and a nutrient block. I think we're going to take one of each of these for now. Oh, this inventory seems much bigger than I remember. Is it? No, I've got to be misremembering that. Okay, so we did that. Sur survey the environment for threats and resources. Ugh, okay. Well, let's get out of this smoke-filled life pod. Oh, wow. What is that? Oh. There you have it. Oh, just water. Just as far as you can see. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Oof. That's too bad. That's means we're all alone. Okay, well, if I haven't already addressed this in this series, or you haven't seen the last, I am... I don't want to say terrified, but deep water and water predators is sort of... Uh, sort of a difficult thing for me. So the first jump is always the most difficult. Um... We're just not going to overthink it. Oh, let's go. Oof. And, of course, I hit the side of the life pod on my way down. Ugh, okay, let's let's look around. I'm a little, a little freaked out. It's a little deeper here than I thought it would be. We've got some, some gasopods underneath us. Ugh. Oh, look. And a large thing close by. Okay, all right. It's going to take time for me to get my comfort level to where it should be. Oh, look, we got wreckage over there. Ooh, okay. First things first, we need to we'll gather some of these acid mushrooms. I do remember that. It's starting to come back to me. We're going to need... We're going to need some tanks. We're going to need more oxygen. Okay. Okay. What's over there that's sticking up out of the water? What is that? Is it just that shallow over here? See, that's where I want to be. I like the shallow area. It makes me feel safe. Oh, there's some limestone. Yeah, that's right. Break the limestone. Titanium. That's right. We also need some of these little fish here. So we're going to need to eat at some point. Got one. Let's grab another one. Maybe you? Yep. How about... Oh, no, no, no. Let's surface. Okay. There we go. We'll get another one of these fish here. Come on. Oh, we... Yeah! There we go. Well, it seems to be a little easier than I remember it being, catching fish. So this will help us out with food. Ooh! New creature discovered. Yeah, that'll help, too. Black... May have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Exactly, exactly. Because copper is an essential component we go. of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely but plausible. Unlikely but plausible? No no no, I don't want to go down there until I have a tank. Okay, let me I'm still a little freaked out by how deep it is, and look, there's that that big thing. I don't even know what that's called. I've seen them before, but I'm pretty sure they don't they don't hurt me, but nope, we're getting low on oxygen. They're still big and the water's deep, so of course I'm gonna be a little freaked out. See I don't 
I know there's wreckage over here. I don't want to go too far, but... Oh, man. It's going to take me time to get my comfort. Get my comfort level squared away. Beacon fragment. Okay. All right. No, no, no. I don't... I don't want to go that way. I don't. I don't. Let's surface. Oxygen. Yes. Yes. Oof. <laughs> right. So we need to get another tank. Let's focus on... This is what I'm looking for. Some actual salvage. I remember now. Yep. Metal salvage. We need that. How are we doing? We still have tons of inventory space. They must have increased it. Okay, we're going to continue getting salvage, because this is a lot of titanium, if I recall. And I believe we need another piece of copper as well. Alright, okay. It's starting to come back to me. Ooh, food! More food! Wow, it seems to be a lot easier to catch... What is this? New creature discovered. Okay, alright. Ooh! You guys are just going to swim right up next to me. Oh, it's going to get dark. Oh, that's right. It's so going to get dark. I, um... Yeah. Water in the dark? That's... That's, that's a little creepy. Let's... Yeah, we're losing sunlight. Let's get back to our pod. Mm, still smoky in here. I think we just leave the hatch open and let it all go out. Damage secondary systems. Yeah, all this stuff is messed up. Okay, let's see what we can do here with the fabricator. Personal tools. Emergency flotation device. Chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas for fast personal buoyancy. That's neat. I don't remember that. Uh, sustenance. Let's go with water, right? We're going to make some more filtered water from this bladder fish. Probably the best use of the bladder fish. And then we'll get some... Let's do a cooked peeper for now. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Very good. That's a good thing. I like that. All right, we'll get some water. We're going to need... Oh, stop hitting escape, Thranxes. Let's cook another peeper. Mmm. Delish. Okay, let's get this stuff off our bar. There's no reason for that. And we'll eat this cooked peeper. There we go. We got a little bit of water from that, too. All right. So our main... Oh, I'm going to keep doing that. Aren't I? The main things are taken care of. Let's get some more titanium here from this salvage. Break it apart. Get some of this metal. Only found one copper. I think we needed more than that. Titanium ingot. Uh, I don't think I need that. Creep vine seed cluster for silicone quartz. That's right. We need to get quartz and stuff. Battery. No, we can't make a battery. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and make one. Blueprint synthesized. Blueprint Power acquired. cell. Where did that go? Waterproof locker, sea glide. Tools. Scanner. Repair tool. Cave sulfur and silicone flashlight. Equipment. Standard O2 tank. That's right. We'll take one of those. No, no we won't. We're going to take two high capacity O2 tank. Wait, 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 wait. How do I do that? Standard O2 tank. Pipe floating air pump. Is it not able to be made here? Cured food. No, we don't have any salt. I'm not going to use the salt yet anyways. Electronics. I don't see the power cell either. It said I got the material or the, the schematic, but doesn't appear like it, does it? That's fine. Scanner. Ah, I don't think we need a scanner just yet. Let's... Oh, there it is. Hi. Okay, I had to step off of the 
of the fabricator and then back onto it. Okay, that makes sense. Power cell, no, we don't need that. Uh, but what do we need for the high capacity O2 tank? Two of them, glass, titanium, oh, and silver. Okay, that's fine. Fins, we need the rubber for the fins. That's right, we do. Floating air pump. Floating device that pumps air into pipes acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. Be a functional air pump. Interesting. I think we are going to make a second O2 tank. I think two is probably prudent. Oh, wait. D did it not... Is it just the one tank now? You don't get a second... Oh, you don't... Well, that's okay. We're going to need a second one if and when the time comes to make a high-capacity one. So I guess we'll just store it in here for now. Yes, you can't just... It doesn't look like you can just right away make make a lot of O2 tanks right off the bat. Go ahead and we'll store the battery in here. You know what, let's just... Oh, it looks like we can right-click to just move it all. That's good. Let's do that. Let's get ourselves back empty. Blueprints! Yeah, here we go. Some new blueprints. We'll go through all that another time. The voice log. Right. Did we finish our checklist? Hold on. Check life pod for damage or construct necessary survival equipment using the life pods fabricator which we did survey the environment check the life pod for damage repairs as necessary well we definitely have damage we need a repair tool and the repair tool said it needed cave sulfur so let's see if we can get some of that oh whoa look at that that's the game absolutely looks more impressive than I remember it. Absolutely, the uh, eye candy update was really nice. Let's take the battery and the titanium so that we can make a flashlight so that we're not stuck in here because I'm going to try and... Oh, no, we need glass. Of course we do. Okay. That means we're going to have to brave the ocean at night. Oh, am I going to be able to do this? Uh, uh, no, 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 I don't. Uh, no. No, I don't want to do that. Oh. Okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm, well. Hmm, <clears throat> what else can we do? Let's, let's... We can't do anything. We need quartz. We need copper. We need creeper vines. Oh, that was just a little too creepy, a little too dark, and the water's just a little too deep. Looks like we're getting sunrise, though. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Did you hear that? Oh, that beeping must be coming from my own life pod. It sounds far away, though. Is there another one somewhere, maybe? Look at these flying things circling around me. Or maybe they're just here because of the shallows. Increased local radiation levels. Oh. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained mm. during planet fall. Right. Radiation. I had forgotten about that. All right. So I want to go back down through this hatch because I need to get used to going through this hatch. Okay, all right, not so bad, not so bad. And I can see everything's lit up. Let's get away from those gasopods. I don't like that they're just hanging out underneath my life pod and that the water is so deep there. I sort of wish it had come over here to the shallow parts, but there's not a lot we can do about that, is there? We're just gonna have to make do. Let's grab a few more of these water bottle fish <laughs> in the bladder fish. Right, so what we need is... Well, there's some air here. Let's get some of that. We need to look out for the stalkers, but we need some of these clusters. All right, let's just go in. We'll get some, and we'll come right back out. Grab some of the salvage. Yep, let's do it. Let's grab as much as we can. 
All right, now let's go. Grapevine seed Life cluster. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. All right, we didn't run into any stalkers. Oh, and we got some salt. Nice. We can cure some of our food now. That's good. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit comfortable, but not too much. I know that's going to fade, and I know that I'm going to have to go to areas that I've never been before, but we're going to roll with it. Oh, what is this? Creature egg. Advanced theories on alien eggs. Interesting. Well, let's get some quartz, too. What do we have here? Copper. That's nice. I remember these caves, though, were dangerous. I'm gonna have to get the scanner out. Okay, this cave doesn't seem to be so dangerous, though. Titanium. Inventory full. Oh, because we have all these creep vine clusters. Let's go back to the life pod. Sort of needed some air anyways. We were getting there. All right. I hear stuff. Every shadow, every noise. Ooh. All right, and this is just the beginning area. I'm going to have to um, temper my resolve. What do we have? Lubricant. Okay, and silicone rubber. Well, I absolutely need some fins. Right, so two silicone rubber. Okay. So we'll do that. There we go, another one. Perfect. And then... Oh, survival knife, so we need a third one. Well, let's make the fins first. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. Pretty For smart safety, system. This setting cannot be overridden. I suppose that makes sense. Let's see. Now let's get ourselves a knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. See, this makes two silicone rubber per use, and I did not realize that, and I made a ton of silicone above what we needed. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. We're going to make a little bit of lubricant now. Let's take a look at what we have in our inventory. Okay, so we've still got, we've got one, two, three silicone, two lubricant. I think I'll just hold on to the creep vine clusters. Oh no, we filled this thing up. Well, let's grab some of this titanium. I think we can go ahead and commit to just turning the bladder fish into water right away. Right, and then... Cured, for cured food, we did get one salt, so let's cure... Let's see who's going to give us the most. Probably this peeper. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and we'll cure the peeper. That way it doesn't spoil. Stays good. Alright. Cured peeper, I think we'll hold on to you. In fact, I'll probably put the nutrient block back now, as well as one water. We'll keep the other. No, we're not going to go that far. Not yet. An egg, we're going to stash that. All of this is going to need to be processed. Ooh. Keep hitting the escape button. Okay, so we'll do silicone, and then we'll do lubricant, and that should be the last of our vine clusters. Right. And then glass. We need to make glass. And more batteries. We need more mushrooms. Well, we have some of those. So we should be able to make a couple of batteries. I'm not mistaken. Yep. Battery, copper wire, copper atoms fabricated in the basic electrical wiring. I don't think we need that. 
What do we have for mobile vehicle bay? No, equipment, fins, first aid kit, fire extinguisher. I think we looked at all those, and then the tools. This is what we need. So we need cave sulfur. Flashlight, we already made ourselves a knife. Let's make the flashlight. And then we'll make the scanner as well. Did we not get a second battery? No, we have the second battery is in here. That's what it is. All right, so we'll put away this silicon lubricant, take some of this titanium, glass copper. I guess we'll just keep that for now. Seems kind of silly when we're hungry and we're thirsty to not stash this stuff. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and we'll cook. We'll cook the whole fish. We'll cook the boomerang. And then we're going to make another battery. Just trying to use up all our materials now. I built a flashlight, so now I want a scanner. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Oof, we're out of power. Okay, so we've used all the power that we have, which is good, which is good. It'll give it plenty of time to charge now. Let's eat one of you, and then cooked whole fish will wait. Instead, we'll drink a water. Oof, we're going to need a lot more water. And then we have this metal salvage. Yeah, we don't really need to hold on to that. Okay, so let's go back in while we have daylight. There we go. And let's see if we can... Ooh, let's stay away from those guys. Let's see if we can scan some of the wreckage over here. I think we can. Right? Beacon fragment. Yep, that sounds good. Beacon fragment scanned. Self-scan. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Okay, very good. That'll work. What do we have here? The blueprint synthesized. The beacon. Okay. Can I scan these? No. 30 seconds. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, it's not so bad now that we have fins. I scan all this stuff, right? Gather information. No, we need some cave sulfur. Okay. Let's try to find ourselves a cave, shall we? We've got the knife. Oof, I don't know why we need to swing it around so wildly like that. Oh, see, it goes kind of deep down that way. I don't really want to do that. Not yet. Maybe I can scan this, uh, this gas pod. That would be cool. Just gotta stay away from what it's trying to do. Boom, there we go. Just gotta stay away from all that all that poison. That much I do remember. Oh! Oh, it's one of those! Ugh. Oh. That's, that's what I need, though, I believe. Right? Cave sulfur. Alright, let's, let's scan it. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Uh, do I really want to go down into here, though? This looks like a great, great way to get lost. What I need is the diving, the diving reel. That's what I need to make. Because I remember going into these caves without one is really treacherous as I go into it. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to check a couple of... Oh, no. Let's go ahead and scan it first. Sure. Okay. 
veined nettle. All right, we'll scan that too. We're just gonna try to scan a little bit of everything. Maybe if I scan this egg, there was an egg over here. Was there not? There was. Oh, you're not gonna let me scan it? Okay, that's fine. Well, we're not gonna pick it up. We don't need it. Not yet. Okay, I don't know how much cave sulfur we needed, but I think we can, well, we probably can make the repair tool with one. But we have daylight, so I don't know why we wouldn't press on. I think we'll, oh, it's a stalker. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm a little, a little on edge, I'm a little anxious. I don't have, this area hasn't become my little comfort zone sandbox like it's supposed to be yet. Not yet. I'm still a little nervous. What is over here? There's something sticking up out of the water over here. Oh, it's coral? Yeah, it is. Just a little bit of coral, barely up over the surface. You gonna let me scan you? There you go. Giant coral tubes, okay. Just scanning everything. Okay. Not finding what I want though, but I am going into where the water is shallow. So I'm trying to find a cave system that's in the shallows. Crash fish. Hoo -hoo. Thought you could get me, didn't you? Thought you could. Okay, so now we have two cave sulfur, so we'll definitely be able to make the repair tool. That cave goes much deeper than I'm prepared to go. Oh, another thing to scan. Let's do that. I'll have to take some time and look at all this stuff. Oh, no, no. We, we need some of these... Some of these water bottle fish. <gasps> I need some water bottle fish. We're gonna go through the water really fast, I can tell. See, I could have sworn that you could scan these. Oh, wait. Okay, so you have to actually find fragments of the thing you're scanning now, not just the box. But it seems like that box was open in the back, which I wasn't expecting. Well, we do have a light, but I'd like to get back and do most of my crafting at night. So I don't have to mess with this area at night yet. I'd like to get a little more comfortable first. That being said, though, looking at the time, I think this is going to be great place to wrap up the first episode. Oh, it's all getting so dark. Let's, um, no, no, let's, let's not use our flashlight. Let's just go back in the escape pod. Whew. Okay, so let's, let's make ourselves the repair tool. Deployables beacon. Navigation aid maintains and broadcasts its position. Configurable name. That's kind of cool. But how about a repair tool? We need some of that silicone rubber that we put back in here. Just one ought to do it. Let's see, personal tools, repair tool. Perfect, so now we'll get the knockout number six on our survival checklist. So let's go ahead and do that. I believe it was all right, broadcast local distress signal using life pod short range radio. Check life pod for damage repair as necessary. So that's the step we're on. So let's repair. Oof, careful. There's no need to touch the end of it. It works. Life pod secondary system. Nice. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Excellent. Very good. Okay, now let's repair the radio.
Broadcasting emergency distress signal. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Secondary systems online. Outgoing radio communication offline. Incoming online. Flotation devices are deployed. Hull integrity is okay. Uncharted ocean planet 4546B. <laughs> okay. Oxygen nit nitrogen atmosphere. Thank goodness we've already walked out. Waterborne bacteria levels high. Ooh. Seems like that could be an issue. Let's take another first aid kit. And we'll play the radio. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 hmm. nine, nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Oh, yeah. Other life pods. Excellent. Okay. That is where we're going to wrap things up. I think that was a good first episode. This has been Subnautica, episode one of the full release. We've made it through the first couple of solar cycles. Ooh, that's, that's just so big and creepy. But, uh, but this has been Subnautica, episode one. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. Come back next time as I continue to challenge my fears by surviving on this ocean planet. But until next time, take care.